Now, as we move on, we follow up on a story that we did focus on quite a bit last night. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Kiriako Tobiko, has asked the CID to forward him the files on the National Youth Service fraud once the investigations are complete. Devolution and Planning Secretary Anwai Guru invited the DCI to investigate integrated financial management information system fraud at NYS. Ben Katili also reports on a new dossier that points to even more fraud at NYS. The Director of Public Prosecutions has informed his counterpart at the DCI in Degwa Muhoro to expedite investigations into the alleged fraudulent IFMIS transactions at the National Youth Service. Tobiko directing the DCI to forward the resultant inquiry report to his office for perusal and necessary action once the probe is complete. NYS has been rocked by an over 800 million shillings scandal resulting from unauthorized commitment to pay. Details are surfacing of tenders at the NYS that were subdivided into several contracts but issued to the same firms, possibly duplicating tenders and inflating the costs. Documents seen by KTN indicate millions of shillings were funneled to the same companies for supplying the same products but in many subdivisions. According to the documents, on February 10, 2015, Alpha Mercantile was apparently paid 7.4 million shillings to supply 1,000 units of 50 kg bags of sugar. This tender was subdivided into four. Translation, the company was paid for the supply 4,000 units of 50 kg bags of sugar. The tender to supply green grams was subdivided between two companies, Fresco International Limited and Bora Global Limited. The tender was further subdivided into four parts in favor of Bora International at a tune of 15.5 million shillings each. The same was subdivided into three contracts for Fresco International at 24.9 million shillings each. The same was replicated for the supply of milk powder for Fresco International Limited. 21.5 million shillings was committed at IFMIS to pay the firm for the supply of 1,000 units of 20 kg milk powder. This particular tender was subdivided into two, then awarded to the same firm. The document also indicates a tender to supply rice to the NYS, which was given to another company, Things of Desire Limited, in four subdivisions at a cost of 22.5 million shillings each. Some of the payment entries were made as late as 7.40 in the evening. And as investigations continue and more details continue to emerge, 184 NYS officials from across 46 counties have come out claiming that the organization has not paid their allowances dating back six months. Niliambiwa tutapewa pesa kutoka mwaka jana mpaka wa leo. Tunaingia pale kwa ofisi ya director general anaitwa Mbwana Gibenji. Ana anakosa mpaka wakati wa kuongea na sisi. Sisi ni officers wake lakini nataka kuzungumza na sisi. Lakini sisi tunaumia na ile maneno inaendelea hivyo tunaona maneno ya kusema kazi inaendelea mzuri. Lakini sisi tunafanya kazi inaendelea tulipe chochote. The officials claim the arrears run into millions of shillings, yet NYS is allegedly paying shadowy figures of over 800 million shillings. Ben Kitili, KTN.